Welcome, welcome back. I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a figure where L and M are parallel lines. These two lines, L and M, are parallel lines. That is the notation here. You may see also something like that on your picture. That means the same thing. Line L and line M are parallel lines. And we are asked to find the measure of angle one, which is this, let me call big angle, right? If the measure of angle one is 8x plus 24, and the measure of angle two, which is this guy here, and you notice I marked this angle different, okay, is uh, 5x minus 10. These two angles are not congruent, and you can notice one is big, one is small. These angles are supplementary because those angles are consecutive angles. That is one name you can hear. Also, also you can hear this name, same side interior angles. Either way is good. These, ang these angles are supplementary. So that's the thing I'm going to write here. Measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals 180. This is the statement in geometry that can be written based on this problem. And now I'm going to uh, replace the measure of angle 1 with 8x plus 34. The measure of angle 2 with 5x minus 10. And basically now I have an equation. And since I see x is on the same side, I'm going to combine them. 8x plus 15x, 13x. Also, you want to combine these two. Uh, numbers they are alike 34 minus 10 that is positive 24 equals 180 the next thing is a two-step equation subtract 24 on both sides and we end up with 13x equal uh, 156 and the last step divide by 13 both sides. So we're going to have x equal 156 divided by 13. And that is 12. Okay. Now we, we need to find the measure of angle 1, so we need to do one, one more thing, which is replace x in measure of angle 1, which is 8x plus 34, with 12. So we're going to have 8 times 12 plus 34. So we're going to end up with uh, 8 times 12, that is 96 plus 34. That will be 130 degrees. The measure of angle 1 is 130 degrees, this angle here. This one, based on the property I just mentioned, they are supplementary, should be 50 degrees. You can use the same process of replacing x with 12, and you will see you should get 50. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.